everyone welcome back from the channel welcome back to the long due fsr 3 video fsr 3 dlss 3 so this is the star wars jedi fallen order and by looking at the ps chart you can already tell that this game's developer were parting with snoop dog while optimizing the game files the ps is literally around 30s and sometimes even dropping to like 20s uh, i am right now playing on only 1080p uh, settings are set on like uh, medium and the ps on a 2060 card is around only 30 to 40 and sometimes even dropping to the 20s so yeah we're gonna fix this i don't even uh, have played this game this is one of my fellow discord members account and i don't even know which moves are how do you attack and everything so i'm not gonna play through i'm just gonna stay in this area and test the mods at ps so yeah let's begin also this video is gonna be a little bit longer than expected because i got two zips like one is for rtx series cards and one is for md slash desktop series cards so yeah uh, do try to stick with the video and i'll show you everything so there is the zip for dlss 3 i mean for rtx card and this is the zip for uh, gtx card so first we're gonna test the rtx card rtx zip then we're gonna test the dlss uh, or sorry the gtx zip so first we're gonna copy everything inside the rtx zip then we're gonna go installation directory of the game and after that we're gonna go to sw game binaries win64 and where the jedi survivor the tx is located we're gonna paste it here now you can run the game from this shortcut or the ea app or the launcher steam launcher whichever you got i'm just gonna run it from here now we'll st speed up the video a little we are back in the game fps is still around the same now we're gonna activate the dlss so yeah go to setting visual gonna scroll down uh, activate the dlss and with that frame generation has come online we're gonna activate that come back to the game and now it's around 90 to maybe it will go above 100 if i stop recording because i'm recording on 4k and that takes like uh, 5 to 10 percent of the fps so yeah but still it's very smooth compared to the previous uh, 20 to 30 fps so yeah it's almost like uh, two to three times the fps <coughs> but still this game status like hell uh, i'm running on it from an ssd the game size is like 130 gigabytes so yeah developers were really high while optimizing this game uh, so this is the RTX zip we have tested it successfully and now we are gonna go back and try the GTX zip so yeah let's begin that one too so first we will need to remove the previous zip from the installation folder okay i can't remove it now because the launcher has not detected that i closed the game let's wait for a few seconds yeah now it will be i will be able to delete the files okay now we're gonna extract the gtx zip in the same folder so we're gonna copy the files we're gonna paste it now if you are on mdgp we will need to enable the fake gpu to true so to do that we're just gonna run the game first and when the cmd window pops up we're gonna close that and edit the text file so stick with me i'll show you everything you're gonna close this cmd window now the fsr to fsr config has appeared fsr2 to fsr3 config now we're gonna edit it and set the fake nvidia gpu to true i'm gonna click file click save and in case if you don't see the frame generation 
uh, you will need to copy this uh, replace DLSS FG and remove the default and uh, paste this uh, replace DLSS FG uh, only do this if you can't see the frame generation in game but uh, mostly you will need to uh, you won't be need to do that you only need to make the fake NVIDIA GPU to true and yeah now we'll run the game again okay we are back in the game and as you guys can already see fps is uh, higher than previous because uh, the frame generation is already activated i think so i'm just gonna verify this setting visuals mm, yeah the frame generation is already activated so i'm just gonna try if the fsr2 has the frame generation with it or not so i've disabled the dlss and activated the fsr and looks like i can still use the frame generation but uh, no it's not properly working i think yeah it's not properly working so yeah we're gonna need to select the dlss to use the frame generation actually quality frame generation and yeah yes so we're gonna need to select the dlss in terms to enable the frame generation and use it so yeah i'm just gonna play maybe one to two minutes and this will be it guys uh, this was a long due video so if this helps you subscribe to the channel uh, and comment down below if you're having any kind of issues but uh, do follow ex exact step which i have done and you should be able to use this mod holy jesus this game is tough i have to say that And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't enjoy the gameplay. I'm new at this game. Just watch it. One hit kill. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording anyway. Thank you.